Hello Aquarius, this is for uh, your June 2018 reading. Sorry so late, but better now than never, you know. So Aquarius, June 2018. I need a reading for Aquarius, June 2018. Aquarius, June 2018. As you know, this may not resonate with all Aquarius. Please understand that. I'm reading for the masses. A lot of people and some of the energies I may pick up on you and some of the energies will may not so this is like you know when you read a major horoscope or a regular horoscope it's just not gonna always you know relate to you but you got something new beginning this is a full card and this the full card is in the upright so when you get the full card it's when um, new beginnings um, but you're not thinking about them, you're just jumping into them and you're taking a leap of faith and sometimes not realizing exactly where you're going with it. So be careful when you take that leap of faith. I I'm all for the full card, taking new beginnings. Just watch out for the pitfalls when you do. Could have a lot to do with the Knight of Disc. And uh, Cups, uh, Knight of Cups. So we got some uh, more than one uh, energy here. Or zodiac sign or emotions we can clarify these at first because I have no idea what they are the knight of disc is in reverse that could be an earth sign that could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus not in that order but or that energy they're turned around they're not feeling real secure or stable they don't feel um the knight, is, the knight of Discs, when he's in the upright, they're, they, they're logical thinking, they, uh, stable thinking. Uh, they, they know what to do, what to say when it comes to finances, relationships. They're usually the family type man, woman. And what's crossing is the Knight of Cups. Now, these people could be in their between 30s and 50s, okay? They got age limits on here, but they, I'm just throwing out there, it could be that. And the Knight of Cups is crossing the, uh, the um, Knight of Disc, so there may be something going on. And the Knight of Cups, as you know, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it's crossing the Knight of Disc, and maybe that's why the Knight of Disc is in reverse. So why is that there? Why is the Knight of Disc in reverse and the Knight of Cups? Why is it there? Ah. Yeah, they were looking for something to come in. There's, it's, they call it ships coming in or going away. They were looking for something to uh, occur. They were waiting for something. And some kind of, when it's in the upright, it's usually something positive. And maybe uh, that's what's happening. They're, they're maybe a little upset about waiting on something. That's a feeling I'm getting. Like it's not coming in fast enough. But wands usually does. Or maybe something, like I said, is going away. They're watching something go away. But it's like I said, it's in the upright. Give me another card for the Three of Wands. i got to clarify the Three of Wands. Just tell them you're looking for something. Yeah, it could be over something in the past. Maybe something's coming in a past from the past, like a third-party situation is coming back in. Or you're actually waiting or watching it leave. And maybe it's got you a little unsettled. That could be either you or the person involved with you. Now, the Prince of Wands is your uh, goal. This may be what you're hoping for, wanting. It's in the upright. The Prince of Wands, very attractive, good-looking, smooth talker, um, energized type person. That is the goal for Aquarius. Prince of Wands, why are you there? Why are you in the goal for Aquarius? Because you didn't like anything that was offered in the past. Foundation. Five of uh, wands. It's in reverse. That's a strife card, but it's in reverse. So the foundation is someone's not wanting to fight anymore. Maybe you're um, trying to do away with a past third-party situation. And you're looking forward to it going with that three of wands. But no more strife. You're not wanting to fight. And no one's wanting to fight with you, possibly. That could be also. So five, five of Wands, why are you there? Why are you there as a foundation? Someone's not wanting to argue or fight. No competition. No more. 
Yeah, it, it uh, did something because it's upsetting the family uh, environment. The ha happiness card, the wish card. It's upsetting you. It's upsetting your family. Past. Yep, it's definitely upsetting something in the past, possibly from a celebration, too. Because you got the uh, Three of Cups there. It's in reverse in the past. So maybe uh, something didn't take off uh, the way you wanted to with a gathering, a get-together. Maybe at times, this is just for some of you, not all of you. Someone drank too much. They uh, overindulged, as they say. Uh, it's in reverse, but let's find out. The Three of Cups, why are you in reverse for Aquarius? Why are you in reverse for Aquarius? Someone from the past. Okay. So I'm thinking there's a third-party situation. Someone from the past, you're looking for it to go. You're looking forward to it to disperse from your life or a couple's life. You're no longer wanting to fight. Um... Your goal is to have happiness with this Prince of Wands type energy because you didn't like what was offered before. And maybe someone came back from the past and kind of messed things up. Or maybe someone's concentrating too much on someone from the past. In the near future, you got the High Priestess. Now it's like an intuition card. Listen, card. Listen to your gut intuition. Um, it's also sometimes that the future may be still... Um, not shown to you the near future sometimes. It's like a wild card to some people. But let's find out. The High Priestess, why are you... Hmm, it's already telling me something. Uh, it's not telling me a whole lot. Uh, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Has something to do with finances. Maybe not be there. Someone doesn't have a whole lot of independence to move forward. And then maybe they don't know what to do about that. One more card for the High Priestess upright. And the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Why is that there? New beginning, the full card. So it looks like um, this is my feel, and this is just for some of you, that you don't know what to do about your finances on certain situations because you want to do and take off with something new. You want to do something new, but you may not be. You may feel like you may not be able to do it or afford it, or how am I going to do this new thing because. Um, I don't know if I have the finances or the support around me. But it looks like you may uh, take off with that new beginning, that full card. Remember, it was in the beginning, you know, as the overall energy. So someone's wanting to start something new and jump right in it. Possible future outcome. And the vice card is the five of swords. Five of swords is a fighting card. You are not to, the vice probably will say not to fight, maybe. Maybe it's, or to take up for yourself. We'll find out. Or it could be that you will take up for yourself. You'll get an argument. Let's find out. There's something more to this. Five of Swords, why are you there? Why are you there for Aquarius? I gain the victory on that. You're going to get in a fight. So if you don't want that fight, you could stop that. You do not have to do that in the beginning of. Um, June, it could be over that you're wanting this new beginning and maybe someone's getting in the way. Give me another card for the Five of Swords. And the, um, you got this, the Six of Wands. In reverse, why is that there? High Priestess again, she's in reverse. So I'm thinking you're wanting to start off something, like I said, now. And things are getting in your way and it may cause an argument. Yes, people are judging you kind of harshly. They're thinking that you may not be able to do it. They may be telling you not to do it. That's their final answer to you. They're putting their foot down, maybe. It's a judgment card. Why are you there? Why is the outside environment? Why are you there uh, coming towards Aquarius? Why are you coming towards Aquarius? If you can see all this. Queen of Pentacles over a Pentacles situation. Someone's telling you you can't do it. That you, you got your head in the clouds. <laughs> That's what I see. They're telling you got your head in the clouds. Um, your hopes and fears that you got the death card reversed. Could be a fear of death, but it also could be a fear of something dying or not taking off the way you want it to, like that new beginning. Let's find out. Why is the death card in reverse? The fear, the hopes and fears, thinking it's a fear for Aquarius. Why is the death card in reverse there for Aquarius? 
tower situation. You're afraid of a tower situation. Everything's going to come crumbling down. And your only hope right now is this new beginning. You're wanting this passionate new beginning somewhere. And uh, when things, you're not wanting to fight. Aquarius not wanting to fight, believe it or not. The overall outcome is the Princess of Wands. You got the Prince of Wands there, the Princess of Wands. I'm thinking, it could be two different people that with the uh, fire element, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it doesn't have to be. It could be the same person, because this one's in reverse. So I'm thinking it started off where you were looking forward to something going away, something new. You wanted to start something new, an old thing to go away, possibly a third-party situation, possibly heartache, could be a do with family, could do with anything. You're wanting a new beginning, but someone's going to tell you you can't do it, and it's going to erupt into a big fight. And you're afraid everything's going to just come crashing down with you. And that argument may be with that wants person you've got a goal towards, and they may, may turn them around a little bit. It doesn't have to be forever. Everybody's like, oh, my gosh, everything, you know, Prince of Wands, Princess of Wands turned around. And, but every, every sign can get turned around over an argument, depression, whatever. It's not that big a deal. You can turn it back to upright. So the Princess of Wands, why are you there as the outcome? You know, someone's going to speak their say, have their say, it's the page of, page of Swords. And when the Page of Swords is in the upright, this person's going to tell you what they think. And it's going to be that Princess of Wands in reverse. So Aquarius, um, you may want to watch what you say. I know you're not wanting to fight. Or someone's not wanting to fight with you. I know you're wanting a new beginning, but you're going to have to watch your words. And they're going to have to watch their words with you. Because it's going to have a fight. So you don't want that fight in June. You want to start getting along. There are some squares in your own sign when it comes to astrology. But I think you'll get through this if you watch your temper or someone watches their temper with you. If this is a cross watcher, you don't have to have the fight. So, you know, move on to that uh, from troubled waters and do not become chained and obsessed with the situation of being right because you got the devil in the upright. And that is a chain situation. Go for that new beginning with the full card. Go for that new beginning. Don't, don't let the arguments happen. And you should be okay. And that is your reading. Bye.